Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 12th, and we hope that everybody enjoyed Veterans Day. And my hat's off to you if you're a veteran or you have a veteran in your family. We really appreciate the service of all of our veterans. If you're a veteran, we've got some specials going on right now that we'll uh, donate some of our fee back for any house that you buy here during the month of November as part of our honor privilege of working with uh, the veterans down here in Southwest Florida. So. I'm your host, Alan Smith, and today's version of the Southwest Florida tour of daily tour of homes and foreclosures down here, including the areas of Fort Myers, uh, Naples, Cape Coral, Sanibel Island, Bonita, the general Southwest Florida area, we cover it all. We're the largest and number one broker down here in Southwest Florida, and we'd like to pl apply for the job of helping you either sell your home down here in par uh, Paradise or find and purchase a home. By the way, I was reminded from a UK client who uh, has been in our system and used our services but that bought with another agent that they didn't know that here in the US we use a buyer's agent to actually buy property and not go directly to the listing agent. That's usually you know, one of the worst things that you can do as a buyer is go directly to the listing agent and not have any representation for yourself. In the state of Florida and most states throughout the union here in the United States, um, because you're working with a realtor or a realtor is helping you find homes, unless you've signed an exclusive buyer brokerage agreement with that realtor, that realtor is actually working as a transaction broker representing the transaction, neither the seller or the buyer. However, the seller, because they've signed a listing agreement, has an agent that's directly representing them. So we specialize in buyer representations and we want to represent you and your purchase. So make sure you give us a call. Uh, we've been more than happy to walk you through it. I have a great video on why small Smart buyers always use a buyer broker as well, so you can search for that. I'll probably provide it in a link in today's email as well. Got a been about a week since I've did a tour because I've been working with uh, Webster's and the Bradleys and a few other clients on trying to find homes up to 350,000 golf access uh, with all the toys. In other words, the high ceilings, the newer. Uh, there's nothing newer than 2005 and won't be again, but preferably 2000 and newer with a pool and boat dock and you know all the all the bells and whistles everybody wants. And and I got to tell you, folks, it's really getting harder and harder to do. Unfortunately, the Webster's went home without buying. Uh, uh, as has happened numerous times this year. I think last year we only had three clients that came and left without buying, and this year I've had close to 20, all in that same price range between 250 and 350,000, simply because they're not seeing what they're expecting or what they thought they would see based upon visits last year or the year before. As a matter of fact, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley reminded me as well, they were searching this week that one of the homes that they saw last year that was for sale for 350, dollars uh, they thought they would go back and take a look at it because it's still on the market a year later. But now instead of the price being uh, in the 300s, I think it was 320 dollars last year, now the sale, uh, the price is back on the market, but it is $100,000 more at 420. dollars Folks, I'm, I'm really telling you, that's how our market is down here now. It's going to be very, very difficult to find uh, a golf access pool home uh, of any kind of quality under 300000 I think you're going to find them closer to three fifty and actually pushing four hundred. But I got a great list of tours to show you today, various uh, tours. Let's get through them. Tomorrow I'm going to try to do all the Sanibel homes uh, between, say, five and 600000 Or if you send me an email, I'll do a custom tour specially set up for you. Let's start with today's tour. This first home that I'd like to bring to you is on Daniel Court. It's in Fort Myers. This is a great home. I know it's not for everybody. And it's a little bit pricey at a million one fifty. But I know that some of you out there that are looking in this price range, and I wanted to bring you this nice home over on Daniel Court. It's a five bedroom, six bath, thirty seven hundred square foot home built in two thousand and two. And this home is really for those who desire and love the best. This is a stunning two story home. It's in one of Fort Myers' best boating communities. Uh, it's a showcase home with highlights, a first floor master bedroom, 
with a private sitting area and an entry room and a luxury master bath which overlooks the pool and spa with water views. Uh, the downstairs features a separate laundry room, a guest half bath, and a two and a half car garage. The upstairs features four full bedrooms, a media and a TV room, and three full baths, plus a grand piano display at the top of the distinctive stairway. There's lots of large porches in the front and back, lush landscaping, and zoned irrigation in this home. So you have a lot of really great things about it, and best of all, you're going to love that pool area and having your boat simply sitting right out in the backyard at that 1.1 1 .1, uh, in Palmetto Point down there in Fort Myers off of McGregor kind of in the corner on the way to Sanibel and Fort Myers Beach so kind of the perfect location. This is a home we looked up for a client looking in this price range. Now this is a tranquil country setting home. You'll love this home. It's on Moore Avenue. It's out in the country in Alva. It's a five bedroom three bath 3,300 square foot home built in 2004. It has a killer curved driveway which brings you past mature oak trees. It's nestled at the end of a long driveway which is beautifully appointed old Florida style home with welcoming wraparound front side and back porches. A couple of the features here, it's a nice two-story stone fireplace in the great room. It's got an enormous chef's kitchen, an office, a formal dining, and a first floor master suite. It has a detached four bay garage with a second level for storage, a fully equipped five-star barn, or excuse me, five stall barn with a separate horse wash. The barn's built to the highest standards. It's air conditioned tack room and feed rooms. It's over 15 acres of wooded pasture land and 100% fenced with no climb safe horse fencing. Plus, of course, with all that room, there's tons of room for a pool in this very nice affluent equestrian community with miles and miles of trails joining the Caloosahatchee Regional Park. $8.99 gets you a tremendous home there in the country. Now, this is another uh, home I wanted to show you out towards the Alva area. This is on North River Road. North River Road has got spectacular homes all along it. This is a four bedroom, five bath, 4,400 square foot home that was built in 2004. And again, it's on nine and a half acres. Now, apart from the nine and a half acres, there's also three buildable parcels. You can see the aerial fixture that I've included in on this. It's got a, this home features a beautiful laundry room, as you see there, a kitchen with an iron Island with high uh, top seating gas stove in the secondary island, uh, uh, you know, secondary island uh, center island. Professional double refrigerators and freezers, an extra 750 square foot is currently a game room, but it could be used as a mother-in-law apartment, an artist studio, something along those lines. The home has a total of three master suites with the largest downstairs with its own foyer. There's lots of possibilities with this floor plan including an oversized two car garage and a detached garage which is 50 by 50 for 2500 square foot which fits an RV, boat, toys and everything. Metal roof, mastic vinyl shake siding for easy maintenance, it's gated, got a fence pasture, everything you'd ever wanted for your own enjoyment at $875,000. Now this one's 624. It's actually down in Cape Coral. Folks, I've seen every home worth buying up to, you know, almost a million dollars in Cape Coral and Fort Myers over the past month. I know where all the best buys are. I know where the best foreclosures are. Give me a call. Give Carol a call at 239-872-7736. Let's discuss what you're looking for. I'll show you the best buys, get you set up so you're ready to go when you get here. This home is a great one at 624. It's on Southwest 20th Avenue, four bedroom, three bath, built in 2005. This one has a second master suite upstairs. I've got another home that's got a mother-in-law down on Fort Myers Beach that's coming up later in the tour that you're simply gonna love. Uh, at a little bit less price than this. But this is a beautiful home. It features a gourmet kitchen with granite countertops and 48 inch cabinetry. Uh, under cabinet lighting with pendant island lighting. It's got a huge family room. It features tile floors and it's wired for surround sound. It's got two master bedrooms. Both of course have walk-in closets, dual vanities, makeup counters, jetted tubs and tile showers. The upstairs master suite has its own family room on it, which is really nice if you like to kick back and read a book like I do, some things like that. Some of the upgrades are mosquito misting system, a three car garage, a decked attic, and an energy efficient window tinning throughout the home. So a lot of great things about this home at 624.5. 
Now, 520, this is a great condo out on Sanibel. Folks, if you're looking for a condo either on Sanibel, Fort Myers Beach, or Cape Coral, I'll be more than happy to give you all the ins and the outs of all the different buildings. I know all the information about them. I can get you anything you want to know, homeowners, fees, costs, and, and whatnot. This particular one is on Middle Gulf Drive on the beach side of Sanibel. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath. 1200 square foot very typical of the Sanibel condos in this price range of this age this was built in 1975 it has expansive river views from this nice updated two bedroom two bath condo it's light bright airy and best of all fully furnished with an open kitchen and expanded living room pack your bags move right in use it for this week's rental uh, season and uh, you know you can expect to be you know making thirty to forty thousand dollars a year fairly easy in a seasonal rental program with this particular condo at five hundred and twenty thousand dollars now at 449.5 is the best buy on Fort Myers Beach for a home of this magnitude trust me for a hundred thousand dollars more you're not gonna find a home that is of this size of this quality with all these different features this is a three bedroom three bath three car garage 4,100 square foot pristine home immaculately maintained on a private lake down on Fort Myers Beach with a completely furnished mother-in-law right next to a 65 acre Mantaza Pass preserve for all your kayaking your your nature walks and all that kind of stuff it simply doesn't get any better than this uh, it's only a stone's throw walking distance one block to the white sandy beaches of uh, Fort Myers Beach it's only one block to that Olympic size pool and water park for the kids or the uh, tenants right down the road it's only a block to the uh, elementary school it's a block to the library it's essentially got all about location with this home and it's simply superb it's got a kitchen you die for that's huge you can do all kinds of things the owners here used to bake cookies for all of the you know fire department police department down in Fort Myers Beach so they've got the kitchen set up to do a lot of baking and kitchen with all kinds of neat um, automatic things and lifts for the blenders and all that kind of stuff that a true chef would really enjoy downstairs there's a one bedroom one bath uh, uh, apartment this wall comes back out of the way so you could open this all the way up if you wanted to or you can have it as a one bedroom one bath pool guys making me up a plan for a pool so there's plenty of room to put a pool right in your backyard right there on that lake brand new Anderson energy windows in this particular home and uh, as you can see I tried to put in all kinds of information on the area and general photos uh, throughout of this great home don't let this opportunity slip by your fingers I've got three showings today between 12 and 3 o'clock this home's gonna sell and it's gonna sell fast and I'd love to sell it to you 449.5 you will not find a better buy on the island than that home now we're going to run over to Cape Coral for this great home in Southwest 37th Street. If you're looking for a waterfront home on the water, this may be one that you want to look at. It's a three bedroom, two bath, built in 89, 1700 square foot, golf access, deep water, intersecting canal, heated pool home, located right off of Surfside with a nice wraparound dock. 349.9 get you this great home and this great opportunity and it's right there in that price range of some of the homes uh, that we've been looking at folks I've seen every home up to 350,000 on the market in Cape Coral I can share them all with you they're right all on top of my head I've been in them all in the last week and 10 days love to share them if you're looking for a, a waterfront direct access home anywhere in Southwest Florida I've seen them all up to 400,000 I kid you not I have been in them I'd be more than happy to discuss them with you give me a call this is another one at 349.9. This home is in Southeast 33rd Terrace. This was one of my favorite homes. It's a really nice home. It's got a three bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot home. So it's fairly large, built in 87. This is a golf access waterfront pool home. Everything is completely updated. This is part of the outside bar kitchen area. It's got pocket sliders, which leads to an oversized lanai that has an outdoor kitchen and a wet bar. And best of all, that outside lanai is full tinted sliders, so you can slide all all those sliders out of the way or you can close them all for additional air conditioning space 
has solar panels to warm the oversized pool in addition to a brand new pool heater. It's a spectacular home at an unbelievable price and all of my clients that have seen this home in the last two weeks have this home as one of their top three and I think I'm going to show you the other two later on in this tour. So if you want to know what a home with a wraparound 10,000 pound boat lift and a Best Buy material in that 350 and under range, this would be definitely one of the three that I think that you would be happy enjoying at 349.9. Now this one's 349.9 as well. It's in Southwest uh, 19th in the Cape. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1900 square foot home. Again, built in 96, golf access on a three lot site. So it's a larger lots than most homes. This home comes completely turnkey with furnishings. Again, it's in my top three in that 350 range and under for golf access pool homes. It's got a wooden wraparound boat dock with a 4,000 pound lift, an open floor plan which offers formal dining, formal living, some cathedral ceilings, and a large lanai. This is a great area for sunbathing, has a nice mansard cage, solar heated pool, and a large master suite as you're seeing there. This home has been seasonally rented when the owners are not here and there's already rentals in place for February and March and the buyer of course will assume the balance of any assessments that are due on this and give me a call and I'll be more than happy to show those to you again 349.9. 349.8 gives you this another one. Now this is a great remodel here. Uh, this is one of the finest remodels I've ever seen. The only thing that this home is lacking is it doesn't have a dock which you can put in at you know anywhere between about 15 and 30 depending on if you go with a simple dock or a complete wraparound. This is on Southwest 25th place. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1900 square foot, wonderfully renovated golf access pool home with a new pool complete with pavers in both the deck and the driveway. Concrete dock uh, that hooks to the land, it does not go out in the water. Spacious lanai for entertaining or just enjoying the tropical weather down here. It does have wooden cabinetry with granite tops. There you can see the concrete dock, uh, no lift, no boat dock. Great Southwest location, it's near Cape Coral Parkway West and Sands Boulevard. It's very look convenient to fine dining and shopping, city water and sewer. The furnishings are negotiable for I think another 11 to 14,000. These furnishings were just put in there uh, to uh, stage the home to sell after this wonderful remodel was done. Again, the price is 349.8 on that home. Now 335 gets you this home, unfortunately I don't have any more pictures of this, but 335 Southwest 12th place, three bedroom, two bath, 2,000 square foot, built in 2000. This was an immaculate home, I've been in this home several times. Uh, the sellers have maintained this home in better than new condition. The kitchen is completely remodeled with new cabinets, granite and electrical steel appliances. Got a 16,000 pound boat lift with a wraparound and composite dock the entire length of the seawall. New conditioning in 2008 has a tiki hut and a hot tub in the backyard and there's room for a pool. It does have a mansard cage. It had a pool at one time but the people filled it in. I'm getting bids right now to put a pool in this one because both my last clients felt that this home was their number one choice, although they wanted it with a pool. A pool is going to cost somewhere in the neighborhood of thirty dollars to $40,000 to put a pool like what the folks wanted in this particular backyard. So you can add it to the three thirty five dollars range and you'd be up in that three seventy five dollars range and I can guarantee you that you cannot duplicate this home for $375,000 with a pool anywhere in Southwest Florida. So it's still a very good buy, plus you can put in a pool pick your paver colors and that sort of thing uh, as you go. Now this home here, 334,000. This is a home over on Southwest 19th in Cape Coral. This is a three bedroom, two bath, home in Palaco Grande. Now Palaco Grande is direct access. That's no bridges out to the river, which a no access home, I mean a, a no bridge home versus a bridged home is usually valued at about 50 to 75,000 above a bridged home. So that's where you're going to see here now. Now this home is 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 got a lot of space in it. It doesn't need anything to move into and use. It is a little dated and you can change it to the way that you want it. But Palaco Grande is a beautiful area. It's literally a stone's throw minutes, five minutes out to the river, whereas all the other homes you're going to find under 350,000 or actually under 400,000 are going to be anywhere from 25 minutes on the short end to an hour on the long end to get out to the river. This home here is literally five minutes, has a 20,000 pound boat lift with a captain's dock and walk. 
right there, deep water, golf access, a lot of great things about this particular home that I think that you'll find uh, will extend your enjoyment of living out here in the golf area. Now, real quick now, I'm going to go to the last home here unless I lost my connection. It looks like uh, things are moving real slow, so I must have lost my connection. So we'll call it a day at that. Uh, that was a great tour of homes. I uh, tried to mix it up for you. I showed you a little bit of some of the homes that we've showed in the last couple days. Some new homes that are just coming on the market tomorrow as well as some of the better buys out on Sanibel and of course some great buys there in, in uh, Cape Coral. If you want to get set up on our market watch system which is an email system that we use that sends you listings in PDF listing form without this video you got to give us a call 239-872-7736. We'd love to apply for the job of helping you find your next home down here in paradise. This is Alan Smith wishing you a warm, sunny, eh, 85 degree Southwest Florida day. Bye-bye now.